Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we had a wildly unsuccessful episode, where we actually lost um, quite a few... Well, we actually lost quite a lot. We lost our high-level... Um, Pteranodon, we basically got ourselves killed, and we had great difficulty trying to tame an Argiventus, which we didn't manage to do. We managed to knock it quite a bit, uh, but then it flew off before we could actually... Um, it flew off before we could actually try and tame it, and we couldn't chase it fast enough, which is a shame. So... Today, what we're going to try and do, the honest answer is I'm not entirely sure. Um, we still need to collect some stones so that we can try and sort out the roof of our house. So I think we're probably going to pick that up now we've chased the Argiventus off of that shoreline. So let's get going with that. But I think we are also going to need to try and do another metal trip. And we only have one Pteranodon. And that was part of the reason I was trying to get that that RG because they've got significantly higher carry capacity it was a case of if I'm lucky I can have that follow me load that up with metal and then just fly back um, but alas it's it's not to happen because it ran away it's gone no idea where it flew off and I couldn't chase it quickly enough so we're just gonna have to let that be um, but we managed to capture a Triceratops because the plan I had was to try and tank the Argiventus. Um, but it all went a bit wrong because it got close to our house and I had to try and catch it before I'd finished taming the Triceratops. Um, but like I say, that's our last episode, so you guys have probably all just watched that yesterday. Uh, for me, it was 30 seconds ago because I'm recording them back to back. Uh, but like I say, we're just going to try and get some metal today. But we would probably be interested in trying to get another high-level Pteranodon if we can get one. Because if we can, that means we can have an, uh, basically a little fleet of birds we can take with us to help get and carry all that metal back. And I'm not planning on going to the one where the T-Rex is there. Um, because that was, that was awkward last time. And terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to do that quite again. So I think we're going to be giving that a bit of a rest. Uh, but yeah, I'm not 100% fleshed out on what I want to get done today. Other than, like I say, just keep loading this up. Um, yeah, like what's, this? for example, what's that one? 45, nope. What are you? 100, yeah. Last one we had was like, a, was like approaching 200 and we lost it to a blinking RG. 15, definitely not. I mean, we could do that 100 one. Right, what do we need for a bowler? Oh, because we'd need that to trap it down. Hide stone and thatch. Okay, well, there was a dodo around here, wasn't there? Yeah, look, there's a dodo. There's our hide. Hey, buddy. Love how you can tank a hit from an axe. Right, there's our hide. Uh, it was what stone and thatch were the other things we needed. Well, stone's what we're collecting anyway. There's some thatch. Right, let's have some lunch. Right, uh, let's get our health up, seeing as we're doing stupid things at the moment, like trying to take on our Juventuses. Okay. Are you the high level one? Yeah. So it's this one we want to follow and we want to watch it come down. How many can we make? Let's just make them all, because... Oh, there you are. Right. I mean, 
he's staying up there. He's absolutely staying up there. Right, let's repair that bow and that bow. Because we don't want them running out on us while we're doing stuff. Oh, that's one of those horrible birds, isn't it? That one there. Come on. Oh, missed. That one seemed close. Gotcha. Because I know you're going to come for me otherwise. Unless I get you first and you're just going to steal something. You are still in the air, my friend. I'm curious what your stamina is. Oh, are we coming down now? No. You're going back up again. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this bird as well. Ah! Blinking. I've lost it. Where is it? Oh, you stole my meat. Wow, you've got some health on you. That one took quite a few shots. More than I expected. Uh, okay, so we replenished the meat with its own body. That's fine. Let's continue getting on with our stone collecting. Did not need Ark to have a funny five minutes there and decide it wanted to, uh, you know, give me a frame stutter. So I had no idea where anything was. It's the worst time it could... Well, I suppose it could have been worse. could have been a T-Rex charging me. That would have been a worse time for that to have happened. Uh, just collecting all the stone. Hey, dodos. Now, I could get a breeding pair of dodos. Um... <laughs> Because they can lay eggs, and you can use them for, in theory, then like infinite meat if you just get them to mate and produce, you know, food for you. You can argue that sounds a bit heartless. Right, uh, split all. Because we can turn that into narcotics. Okay, let's go get some more stone. But yeah. I'm still upset about the loss of the, that high level um, Pteranodon that we had. We swapped it for a um, Triceratops. Which is okay, but it's a really... It's not a very good Triceratops. It's a very low level one. It's actually got less health than our Parasaur, which is not what I expected. Um... So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed about it. I do want to try and catch this level 100 one, but he's not coming down for a rest. Which is a shame. Right, come on. Slowly crawl towards it. There we go, right. Dump all of that. Uh, yeah. Can dump that meat now in there. Ooh, a tech parasaur. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello. What level are you? 24. To be honest, I don't care. Because if we can get a breeding pair of tech parasaurs, we can use them uh, for metal. So you are going to be something I definitely want, my friend. There we go. And then let's get you some berries, shall we? And I don't actually even care that you're that lower level. Right, okay. Berries! I mean, you would be easier to get onto the raft with a saddle, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to direct you to it. Right, more berries... Just keep that there. Can I come around here and collect those arrows off your side? Yes. I can get one of them back. Okay. Fine. That's a normal parasaur. And you are a... 
Mail. Mail 130. Oh, oh, you are level 100. You are. You're down. Guess what, buddy? I would like to become friends. We're going to become friends forcefully. But I promise you'll like it. There we go. You need meat. So I'll pop that there. Cool. Okay, that's the parasaur done. So let's put the parasaur on the raft. Can you go there? And then here. Okay, he's on the raft. We've got this level 100 one. What's our taming efficiency on it? You've not eaten anything yet, so we don't know. Okay, that's fine. Let us continue to collect stone while that's working. Okay, so that's that's been okay. It'd be nice if the tech parasol was a higher level, but I'm just going to grab it because, like I said, if we can get a female tech parasol now, we can start, like I say, breeding them together. Um, and the offspring, we can, you know break apart for pieces and I'm, I'm i'm not going to elaborate any more than that um but yes that's that's what we can wind up doing with that and that's going to give us a, a good supply of metal right okay pop you in there as well just collecting all this stone at the moment but i haven't got an ankylosaurus i mean what are you 15 no we don't care about you Because an ankylosaurus, I think, is like a stone-collecting dinosaur. Like, where the parasaur is very good at collecting um, uh, berries, the ankylosaurus is very good at collecting stone. Um, but we haven't got one of those yet. We are going to need to, actually, thinking about this, we're going to need a feeding trough. Because we're getting so many dinosaurs, I'm not going to want to keep just, you know, individually piling stuff into each of them. So if we get a feeding trough, any dino we've got that's in range of that will be able to feed from the trough. Uh, which will be good. Right. More stone. Let's collect all this up. Because we're going to need it to start laying traps. Which will be fun. Okay, let's carry all this back. Okay, so that parasol was 25 and it's now 30. Now I've tamed it. That's, I mean, like I say, it's it's not there for general usage like that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, 400 health. Uh, yeah, let's, let's up your health because I'm going to want you to survive. How goes this one? Semi efficiency 49. Okay, so you'll be 149 by the time we get you. I can cope with that. Don't get me wrong. I missed my 191. But 140 will do all right. Brontosaur kicking around outside our house there. Okay. Let's just keep taking some stone. So I'm going to want to get some crystal at some point as well. Because I'm going to want to get... Um, some of the next things that we need require crystal to make so we're going to want to try and get some of that oh, we've got to level up let's do more weight because we carry lots what are we up to? 53 still not near that Argeventa saddle ok let's encumbered let's slowly crawl back uh, where is the raft? Somewhere along there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look, there's the sleeping Pteranodon that we're trying to get. Oh, I can't believe that our Juventus took it out. I can't. I'm just so upset by that. I'm wondering whether we put some kind of dinosaur pen on top of our house so that we can 
keep them all safe in inside the pen. I'm genuinely thinking that might be might be a thing to do. How are you doing, buddy? Ooh. You're looking like you're getting ready to wake up. Let's give you some berries. Try and keep you down. Okay, slowly claw our way back to this. Right, okay, so. There we go. Ah, oh, we can put that in there as well. We don't need to be carrying that. Should free up some of our weight. Okay. How are you doing now? 47%. It's because you really want fish, isn't it? But we haven't got any to give you. It's taken a little while to tame, but then it is level 100. It will take longer to tame than a, a low level one. So, but I think when we get that, maybe we can do a, a flying back and try and get hold of some more metal with both of the Tyranodons. And I probably want to put a saddle on that as well, because one of the things that I all often forget when I'm playing this is that the saddles actually give armor to the dinosaurs. So a dinosaur with a saddle will take less damage than a dinosaur without a saddle. So, yeah, it, it kind of makes the point you want to saddle everything. To the point. Can we make a parasol for this tech? Uh, parasol saddle, what do we want? Fiber, hide, and wood. Well... There's some wood, there's some fibre, there's some hide. Because then we can put it on this tech parasaur and give it some armour at least. Thinking about that. There we go. See, look, armour 25. Also then means I can actually place him a bit better on the... Yeah, you'll do all right there on the raft. That'll be fine. Thank you, pooing on the raft. Right, how are you doing now? Still not tamed brilliantly. Okay. What are you? 45? No, I'm not worried about that. Kind of only really want to get ones that are like level 100. Because then, if we get in those 50 levels, it means we've got, like, yeah, 150 Tyranodon, which is a decent um, level. Like I say, I'm still... Gah. I really thought we could have that RG. Really did. I really thought we could have that. Evidently not. Right, what can I drop off that I don't need? Oh, that wood. Don't need that wood. That speeds us up a bit. Uh, right, that's still just a parasol floating around. We've just grabbed tons of stone off this side of the island. I mean, I know this one's been a bit of a slower episode so far, but it's been productive. Yeah, plenty of stone there. Right, okay. We've got another level up. Let's put it into health for us. 54. Right. Are either of you in worthwhile capturing? 45. 15. No. Not even a little bit. Right, okay. So, how close are we off that RG? That was level 60-something, wasn't it? Yeah, 62. Okay, right. What am I... Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. have something to eat. kind of just want to wait for this now. I don't want to do too much more mining. You're in 65%. Or 62, whatever it was. Can we make you a saddle? What do you need? Chitin or keratin and hide. Okay, well that's all the other side. So we're not going to be able to grab that. 
All right. Let's take this back. Because we can oh, track the taming from here. Don't care about that. That's done. That's done. You I want to track. No, I really don't want to track that. Some random thing that stole probably a narco berry from me and knocked itself out. Right, there we go. 83%. So you're doing all right. And bring this tech parasol back over to our side. Got a brontosaurus there. They are big. But I mean, that's an obvious statement. I've taken one down in a single player playthrough. Um, I haven't actually tranked one. So I don't know how quick they uh, they go down like that. So we'll just pull you in here. You've gained another level, which is great. Guess what? You can have more health. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Pop you here. Right. That Triceratops. Yeah, I figured you'd have another level. You are going to be a tank, so I want you to have health. You don't have another level yet. What actual level are you? 130. Yeah, guess what? We're not taking that on. Uh, you can do, I mean, if you're going to, what are you, 143? No, the other one will actually wind up being higher, I think. So you can still have carry weight. Right, okay. That's not going to be enough kiting for it, but that's fine. I noticed around the corner, hey buddy. Let's just get some keratin off you, my friend. Oh, that's quite the glare. Wish you could uh, get sunglasses so you could... Oi! Get out of my house! Reduce the glare on stuff like that. Oh, ah, you touch me, my dinosaurs are going to get you. <laughs> Yeah, kind of let them do that for the level almost. There should be enough of them there for it. Look at them all piling in on it. There we go. Thanks, guys. There we go, that's some keratin. You were actually gained the kill, so you get the points out of it. There you go. Health's coming up. It's fine. That will let us have a tank. Who laid an egg? A pteranodon leg egg. Nice. I mean, it's not fertilized, but that's okay. Wow. Right, let's repair our axe while I just noticed that. I don't want that breaking while we're out and about. Let's also make our crossbow. Which will be fun. Okay. So we've now got a crossbow th th there. Right. Uh, okay. There's a big poo. Right. Let's come in here. We'll grab that flint. Because we want to make some more arrows. Short on thatch. That's okay. We can cope with getting some thatch. Just want to keep a decent stock of both types of arrow. There we go, 53. That's more like it. Okay. And then we'll head back. Oh, we've got that Tyranodon. Okay. So let's grab our one that's over here that's saddled. We'll fly it over and then we'll get that one to follow us back. Cool, okay. So, the plan will be, and this will hopefully stop me getting confused, the crossbow will keep the normal damage dealing arrows, um, and the bow will keep the um, 
Trank arrows. Right, that's now marked as following. Uh, and the reason for that is that the bow fires faster so you can get more tranquilizer in. And from what I understand, and I'm going to say this now, and I'm probably going to have a load of you come out and correct me, but from what I understand, the amount that it tranquilizes is dependent on the damage that it deals. So although technically a crossbow deals more trank per shot... Because the bow can do it faster, you can get more. Um, uh, you can get more sort of trank per shot, uh, trank per second in via the bow. Is my understanding. Now, like I say, happy to be told I'm wrong on that, but that's that's from what I understand. It is right. Let's get this Tyranodon back, and then we'll have a look and we will compare and see who's got the better stat because we're going to want we're going to want the one with more stamina to carry us because they don't use stamina when they're following so yeah we want the one with more stamina to follow us uh, and we've got another one right here actually right my friend what level are you level 140 right everyone Passive. Because you're going to become my new mount. Because if you're tamed and you're going to gain another 50 odd levels. Come on. Go down. There we go. Right. Everyone can now go back to how they were. Which is neutral. You, my friend, get fed. Uh, can you land? Okay. So he becomes our new mainstream one. Like what's... Oh, hang on. I always press escape there thinking that's going to bring the menu up right. Plus 70 levels. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. Right, let's grab you, because you could actually do with some levels. So let's try and get some berries with you. Oh, that's wood. Let's try and get some narco berries to help keep it down. I mean, I don't want a lot, but just just some. And like I say, it'll just help this one with a few levels. I'd get more with the other Parasaur because I've been leveling its melee. But, you know, give this one a chance to run out. Okay, so. Grab those Narco Berries. Yeah, so you've gained a level. You can have some more health. You, my friend, can have those Narco... No, I don't want to eat the Narco Berries. I want this to eat the Narco Berries. Okay, so what's your stamina pre-tame? 292. And yours? 315. Okay. Weight 194. Your weight's 196. Okay. So those two are pretty comparable. I'm surprised your stamina is so much lower. 177. What was your weight? 194. Yeah, he's a higher level. But he's actually... Yeah, not great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait and see how he comes out after the taming effectiveness. Because that might change where things go. Yeah, 1200 health, 175 melee damage. Yeah, it's so weird. Level 140. Okay, so he's technically a little bit under these. But what's our taming effectiveness going to... Oh, it was 70, wasn't it? Yeah, it was going to... Oh, 69 levels. It's dropped slightly. Okay. All right. Well, that's... That's promising. And then we're going to be able to have three birds, which will let us bring more metal back. So, I think that's been a fairly successful um, episode in the end. 
We've got some more Pteranodons. We've got some decent leveled ones. I'm happy with all of that. We do want to work on our ceilings. So that's going to be stone thatch and wood, but we'll start collecting that next episode and we'll put those together while this guy is wrapping up. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons. Your patronage is very appreciated. And please don't forget that you do gain access to save files for all of my open world games so that you can explore those worlds at your leisure. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you all next time. <laughs>